My own parents disowned my children, and now I'm getting revenge. What did the children do? I'm like, like you know, what, what is worthy of being disowned? You know, you spilt your juice on grandma's special chair. So now you're just It was a the special family. chair. It was, it was from the 1800s. It was in it was the family. Grandma. Generations. You dropped one of my vintage plates. Mm. I don't even know if plates are vintage, but they, fine china. There I, I think the kids stopped listening to Andrew Tate and grandma is a big Tate taint. Whoa. Mm. That is a plot twist. Plot twist. <laughs> That's a Reddit story I would read. Um, I, 32 female, have been with my wife, Ava, 34 female, for eight years now, but we've been married for five. She was a single mom of three kids when we started dating. She had two daughters, now 10 and 12, and a son, now 16. Okay. Now, I've watched these kids grow up. I read them bedtime stories, do bath time, first day of school, PTA meetings, all of it. But is she doing bedtime stories with the voices? That's important. You know, I, I think if you don't do the voices... You're you, basically not reading the story. You're not. And you're basically not family. You're not family. Grounds for disowning. <laughs> yeah. It's in the contract, <laughs> the family contract. Um, now, I very much consider them to be my kids, and they've been calling me mom for almost six years. It's a long time. Now, my brother, I hey, you know, when when the when the girl you're dating calls you daddy for at least six months, that means something. Hello. So if the kids <laughs> call you mommy for six years. That means something too. Means that jump more. though. <laughs> if if you <laughs> if if you're yeah, you said it. You called me daddy you for long it. enough, babe. We're family. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> need need to be marked as a dependent on my taxes. Ooh, yeah. Depend oh, yeah. on me, baby. <laughs> Um, my brother Ivan, 28 male, just had a baby girl with his fiance, Sarah, 27 female. I love my niece and my kids adore their cousin. My kids have been the only grandchildren of the family since Ava and I got together. And there's never been a moment where the kids and my wife were treated like they don't belong. My brother is their uncle. My mom and dad are their Nana and Pop. The kids see my family as their family. And I always thought they felt the same way. Okay. So I thought like everything was good. But maybe not. Maybe they want to sacrifice them like in 300. Yes. Have you, are you strong enough? Or like the Aztecs, I want your heart. You know, <laughs> that was another great impression of the session. The heartbeat. I never would have predicted that one. Um, the kids and I were over at my brother's house, just hanging out. And my parents ended up dropping by with some gifts for my niece, for my new baby niece. Ivan laughed when he saw the toys and told our mom and dad that they were going to end up spoiling her rotten. My mom said, since my niece was their first grandchild, of course they would spoil her. Curious, right? <laughs> you're, you're, you're debating, yeah? I mean, just the way, the way it's said, though, is kind of wild. First grandchild child by blood, though. Yeah, by blood. But it's like, would you say it like, like if these kids have been in the family for six years, basically. Like, yeah, I guess it's weird. I don't know. Sam is pro grandparents on this one. I'm not like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, pro. pro yeah. But it doesn't feel like a huge, like slight to me. Yeah. Yeah. At least at this point. Well, we'll see how it goes down. Yeah. Um, my kids and I were sitting in the living room and all of us, including my youngest daughter, looked hurt when she realized what my mom had said. My son and my 12 year old didn't fully react to it, but I could tell that it bothered the both of them, too. Sarah spoke up and said, oh, you mean first grandbaby? Oh, you mean first grandbaby, not first grandchild. But then my dad shook his head and replied that my niece was their true first grandchild. Okay, that's... that's true! A, that, the true first... I mean, I think that's a that's crossing the line. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's like a kid. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. Also, also with them in the room, too. Yeah. That's why it's like, I don't it, know about you, but this... This, one, this is yeah. blood, baby. Um, it's a blood baby. Blood baby. I didn't want my kids to listen to any more of this, so I handed my son the keys and told him to wait in the car with his sisters. When they were gone, I asked my parents why the hell they said my kids were not their grandchildren. 
Yeah. Good question. Good question. Um, and my mom replied that they couldn't be their grandchildren because they weren't really my children. <laughs> Would you say that about an adopted kid? That's what I'm saying. Like if someone is adopted, it's like, uh, oh, that's my kid. It's not like, uh, oh, that's my adopted guardian. If I, I yeah. tiny human. <laughs> are are they did OP adopt the kids? I believe. Oh, that's a good question. I don't know a hundred percent if they're officially like legally adopted, but definitely like they've been I'm calling sure her like, mom for six years. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, that's that's pretty that's pretty good. Um my wife and I were gonna be hosting Thanksgiving at our house, but I told my parents that they if, I told my parents if they didn't view my kids as family, then they could just host a meal at their own house where their real family could spend a holiday with them. Yo, mm. damn. Ultimatum. Yeah, about to get stuff like this turkey granny <laughs> that came out the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> I realized that as I was speaking it. <laughs> Shit. Thanksgiving more like I'm going to be giving it to you. Ooh. And you're going to say thanks, Granny. <laughs> Where do I put all this hot, steamy gravy? Ooh, I'll drizzle it on you that mm. that, that coochie. <laughs> Here Slobber we go. Slobber it up, Granny. You know Granny needs it. <laughs> <laughs> granny needs all the lubrication she can get. Mm -hmm. Her vagina's dry. Mm -hmm. uh, I like left the Sahara. <laughs> the Sahara. Um, I left before they could say anything else to me. And my wife and I reiterated to the children that they will always be my kids and I will always be their mom, regardless of DNA. My brother is pissed at me now because he thinks I reacted too harshly and that I should try to see where my parents are coming from. Where are they coming from? They're coming from assholery. <laughs> well, hey. Hey, come on. You were in their corner at first. Don't I, back no, out no, no, no. See, 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 see. I'm okay with <laughs> yeah. them saying, oh, it's our first, like, you know, grandchild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or you know, or, or grandbaby or whatever, right? But, like, when the kid says, oh, you mean grandbaby, they're like, oh, sorry, that's what we meant. That's what you say. You don't yes. double down and be like, you're right. not our kid. Yeah, yeah. You're not family. You're just yeah. a... Like, I understand, like, the slip of the tongue or whatever. Yeah. You're just a meat bag that shows up to my house. <laughs> you, have, you have flesh, bones, air... Yeah. None of it is, but no soul. is related to me. Yeah, yeah. Why would I treat you with any respect? <laughs> you shouldn't. You should be. Uh, uh, oh, what's it? What's what's the? Uh, uh, oh, what, what's the thing? You should be. Um, not inconvenient truth. You should be modest proposaled. What is that? <laughs> you know the modest proposal? I don't. A modest proposal was a uh, essay made in like 18 something where this guy, I think for what it was his name modest proposal by jonathan swift it was an essay mm. and basically he was like yo i know there's a lot of economic problems right now i have a simple solution let's just eat all the babies and it was like it was satire a, was oh, it was okay, satirical okay, okay. but like people took him seriously and there was like outrage and then some people were like oh like it kind of makes sense bro back in the day like the the Orville with the UFOs. People thought it was people were way too gullible, man. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Read a book. <laughs> Read a book. Um, my mom texted me saying that she and my dad love the kids, but they still aren't their grandchildren. And she hopes that we could come to understand because she doesn't want to ruin my niece's first Thanksgiving. <laughs> bro, why are you they, doubling down? They keep, they just keep like all she would say is like. I love them, you know, their family. It's such an easy, like, it's so easy, but they just keep, they just keep doing it. I haven't replied back. I meant what I said, but I'm worried that I might be reacting too harshly. Am I the a-hole? No, I don't, I don't think OP is the a-hole. Yeah. I think I like honest mistake with like, oh, our first grandchild. But the the double down and the quadruple down yeah, does but, not make sense. They keep doing it, yeah. which is like the crazy part. Yeah, I think um, <laughs> I just like, but it's an easy acknowledgement. Like, just like like what, what what's it to them? L literally, like what? Yeah, I don't know. The, the why they should do it is they want to like they want to include like they should want to include these other kids. Yeah, 
in the family dynamic because yeah. effectively they are they're there <laughs> yeah see this is making yeah, sam it's sick. Making me sick he is literally ah. just dying oh my god if you like this story check out this one where the grandma has a secret baby child clink here or link in the description